I also want, uh, my bad. I also want to point out that this video is about American football and not soccer. So just to let everybody know that as well. So um, the point of this video is to kind of, uh, with football season coming up, we got, we got football season coming up and a lot of people like to bet on football. Now, most people aren't going to go through this kind of effort to bet on football, whether it be NFL or college, but uh, the ideas are the same. You can, for those of you who do, do want to put an effort, uh, this video is going to be for you. So I might as well get started with the context of this video. Excuse me, I have a PowerPoint that I put together for this video. So uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is data sources. Without data, you're not going to be able to get done what you need to get done. Audio check, I just want to make sure I'm not muted. I hear it in my output, uh, but looks like everything's good. All right, just wanted to make sure everyone can hear me. All right. All right, so data sources. Without data sources, you can't do anything. And this is the most stressful part, in my opinion, about a football model, uh, American football, is data sources. Because unlike Major League Baseball, where you get free play-by-play -play data provided by MLB that you can download, and unlike the NBA, which you really only need a box score and it's very easy to scrape them, um, NFL is completely different because honestly, a box score isn't enough. Uh, you're going to need at the very least drive level data. Um, and if you can get a, your hands on play by play level data, that is great as well. So uh, this video, like I said, is for both college football and NFL, but um, I'm going to be talking mainly about college just because that's what I focus on. But the concept in this video apply to both. So don't think it's just for college football. So there are two uh, free data sources that I'm aware of for both sports. Uh, collegefootballdata.com, it's free, it has an API, it has data exports that CSVs. It, there's a lot of good stuff on there. You can get drive level data, play by play level data for free. And for, for, for a free website, it's very good. It's not perfect. There is some data that's incorrect, some data you have to impute. There's some errors in the data that you're going to catch when you're doing analysis. But for a free website, it does a very good job. Uh, and NFL Fast R is an R-based uh, data service for NFL that is uh, free play-by-play -play level data as well. I've never used it before, but I've heard good things. Um, as well, uh, but if you want to pay, and I doubt anyone watching this video does want to pay, is that, uh, so the intro video wasn't, uh, crap. Yeah, I've, I was messing around with too many features, oh well. Um, but for csbstats.com, it's going to cost you at least a thousand bucks, if not more. It used to be free back in the day, but it's not anymore. And Stats LLC is um, a lot of money. Probably not something that you want to... I'm thinking if I should restart this video um, just because people are going to watch this video and see the mute at the beginning and click off. So, so you said the intro video was uh, Matt Stansberry. Did you say the intro video was uh, muted? Just because I, I want people to watch this video after it's done, not just a live stream. And if people see it's there's no volume at the beginning, they're just going to click off of it and not watch it. So I'm thinking about restarting. But um, yeah, if you could confirm that the intro video was muted, I might re redo the stream uh, from the beginning. You know what? I'm going to either way because people are going to hear me talking about this as well and click off. So I'm going to restart this stream. I apologize, guys, for technical difficulties. This is the first time I had done those, uh, done that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to restart this stream. So look for the new one. 